hello youtube welcome back to my video today i'm going to tell you about an interesting thing uh, it's a, a runnable jar file so i'll be discussing what is this runnable jar file and how it is useful for uh, the programmers in certain circumstances like uh, uh, for example there may be uh, you have created your own uh, java project or java code to do some kind of stuff like uh, just i'm just saying an example just uh, to rename a file or uh, to copy a file or something like that you can you, you may have written java code for that so you may have uh, you might be running that in your uh, the code editor like maybe eclipse maybe netbeans anything like that so what if you want to run this in another pc like in your client pc we don't have any uh, you, do, you can't install your uh, java editor or anything like that so how can you do this so i'll be explaining how you can do this with a real time example with this and uh, if you have any doubt in this please uh, let me know i'll be happy to help you and here we go what is a runnable java file and how you can use it in uh, real time and real life use okay now let's start with uh, my eclipse if you are ha having netbeans or any latest eclipse no problem you can carry on with that i am just starting a new java project here new java it's better to start with java project always uh, for runnable jar file and not like uh, any web project start with the java project itself now i am just giving us uh, are you are you in just run just uh, all of this are just basic stuff if you want to configure just move on uh, no need of that because it's all just a basic project okay now i have created a java project here now what is next here now just i'm just creating a class like uh, we can give whatever the name i'm just giving my main and in that i'm just giving a class run this class Now, for example, I have uh, written a code to create a te text file in my e drive with current GMT date and time. Okay, now I'm going to uh, my e drive, nothing is there. Let's uh, try this one. Okay, I just run that. Coming back, uh, just see here, I have a, a text file there. I have created a new file uh, with uh, 6.44 pm I am just uh, running that again now coming back now it's 6.45 pm so each time if I run this uh, a new test file will be created with uh, the current GMT time now now for this is showing to you for an example only you can write anything you want you can connect to database you can call another class here and for any any uh, java uh, related code you can write here now what is i'm going to show you how this project i mean how this uh, process of creating a new text file you can use in another pc also without uh, using any of your java codes now uh, I'm just coming here if you want to make a jar file of this one you have to go to the project we can here uh, in the export option we can see a runnable jar file option is there just click next and in the launch configuration we can see here run this run this is the project uh, the above one is my old project this one the new project uh, i am just clicking there and the browse option i am just going to my desktop i am creating a run jar file finish okay now in my desktop you can see a run jar file now what is the difference between a runnable jar file and a jar file okay you can see a lot of uh, definitions and explanation in your uh, in in google I, i'm just explaining you in a quick way runnable java file is nothing but a main class will be there you can directly run it 
or other Java files like in APIs, they, they'll be coded to connect to the da database or any other external uh, third party things. Uh, they'll, they'll be written code in there. So, by using that, we can use uh, to connect to their system. Now, this trainable Java file is uh, just a Java file to create a test file and uh, write a uh, write the, the current date and time in there. So uh, I have created that. I'll show you how to run that uh, in another PC or in same PC. I'll show you in the same PC for, for now. You can try in another PC also for sure it will work. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to run this jar file outside of Eclipse or outside of your uh, editor. I'll show you how. Uh, here I have written uh, a code for that you can uh, which you want to run from your command room now see here I have installed my Java in you in this particular folder C drive program files Java JRE bin Java so uh, most probably if uh, your PC uh, Java is installed almost uh, this will be the same if you are not changed if you have changed it you better uh, edit here and I have uh, uh, this uh, minus jar command will be there in the middle and after that just navigate to the uh, the jar file which we, where you have saved it I have saved it in my desktop and this is the path to my desktop and I have saved it now how you should uh, how this is working I'm just going to my e drive deleting this file now let me open my command prompt and copy the code here and can run this in from my command prompt copy and just click enter we can see here the console what I have written in my console you can see uh, written in the command prompt so you can I have already written uh, shown in the, my example there so uh, if I check again the new time is came here I mean that means the new file has been created now uh, you can uh, use uh, this jar file to run in any other pc also uh, and run like this if you want from the com command run. so there is no need of any uh, any editor there you can just take the jar file there if you want to run this uh, directly without uh, opening uh, the command run turned on just uh, make uh, this command as a bad file and run up it's a bad file like uh, it will open the command door automatically now uh, let me delete my text file again I deleted it if I okay just click and enter after this one save it now just run the bad file again so if you run the bad file again again now uh, the new text file will be created uh, with the new timing in that you can see here okay now uh, this is how you can use this to in another PC also you can just copy these two jar file this uh, this run dot jar file and uh, the bad file to another PC and just try running this one and just make uh, edit in that bad file uh, to navigate uh, to the Java and uh, the location where you have copied uh, the jar file now just running this bad file again uh, it will execute so as I told you can do any kind of stuff you want you can uh, connect to database or you can connect to internet directly or in internet also you can connect to any API using this everything what you can what you want to do using your Java project you can uh, just compress all your project into one Java file and take the Java file to your client PC or wherever you want so how this is how it works now with the help of a, a java file same way i have created a java crawler which uh, which i will collect email ids from internet so i have created another video how this works and how this can be useful to collect mass email ids from internet so here you can see uh, i have uh, uh, created a jar file which uh, which will collect the uh, email id all the source code which is having in there and uh, call email id and dump to this excel file 
so i have a bad file here also in the same way uh, i have navigated to that uh, the email id dot jar and uh, java is installed there so just uh, look around to my other video how this works and uh, this is it so i hope you got what is a runnable java file and a java file what is the difference between there and uh, thanks for watching now and if you have any doubt in this just comment below i'll be happy to help you and today is december 31st 2016 and advance happy uh, new year for my viewers and please subscribe for my video and uh, thanks for watching